Hey guys, what is up? Jelus here and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to create this photo manipulation that I call Solemn Night. So, let's get started. First, let's create a new file. So, let's head over to File, let's click on New. And these are going to be the sizes here and I'm going to change this one to 72 pixels and then just click Create. So, over here, let's create a solid color which is going to be serving as our sky so let's head over to the adjustment layer icon let's choose solid color and this is going to be the specific number code that we're going to choose as our uh, sky color so it's going to be 211 f34 and then just click ok and now press ctrl r and then right click here and we're going to choose inches for this one and we're just gonna zoom in and just drag this uh, guide here and put this one to somewhere on 30. There you go. Now press Ctrl R again to hide the guides. And it's time to drag our first image which is going to be this one. And just make this one larger. There you go. Okay, just until the guide here and in the bottom of the mountain. So now let's click on the move tool over here. Let's select on the uh, rectangular marquee tool and let's create a selection just uh, right on the guide of our canvas. Okay, now press Ctrl J, right click here and convert it to a smart object so that we can preserve the details whenever we want to make it smaller or bigger. And now just simply delete the original image. Okay, so now let's just remove this part over here since we are going to be putting our a uh, campfire somewhere in this area so let's select on this layer right click here and choose rasterize layer and then press s or just select the clone stamp tool in the toolbar so we're just going to need to sample this part over here and cover this area so just hold the alt key and press on this area over here and just simply cover it this part here of the image there you go okay then after that let's click on the move tool right click on this layer and convert it back to a smart object and let's rename this one to our ground and this one is going to be our sky okay so now let's make our ground darker so let's head over to our ground layer let's go to adjustment layer icon and let's choose levels now let's create a clipping mask so that it only affects the image that is directly below our adjustment layer and to darken our image let's drag this slider to the left side and i think somewhere over i think 54 will do for this one and just to make it a little bit darker let's head over to adjustment layer icon again this time let's give it uh, some blue tones into it so let's select your saturation let's create a clipping mask and let's drag the lightness to about negative 40 and let's give it a U of negative okay so I think negative 160 will do for this one just to make it a bit darker and a bit of a bluish tone okay so now let's group this one so hold the shift key and select the ground layer and it's going to select all those layers and also the layer in between press ctrl G to group them and let's rename this one to ground again okay so now it's time to add some mountains behind just to give it some uh, depth and a bit of perspective so we're going to use this mountain over here and just simply drag it in the another file and let's use a quick selection tool for this one and just simply create a selection ju just by dragging like this there you go after creating a selection on the mountain press ctrl j to duplicate right click here and convert it to a smart object and just simply drag it to our new canvas and drop it down here and make sure to put it below the ground layer and not inside the ground group just like this there you go press ctrl t to resize and just make this one smaller okay so i think 
this one might do so just click on the move tool over here and a quick trick on creating that atmospheric depth let's create a solid color just above this mountain layer so let's head over to adjustment layer icon let's choose solid color and let's choose black for this one hold the alt key and click in between the layers to create a clipping mask and then let's select our uh, mountain image and just simply drag the opacity so I think 50% will do for this one just to create that uh, scene that this mountain is farther away from this area okay so now let's just duplicate both of these layers so hold the control key to select multiple layers press ctrl J to duplicate press ctrl T right click and we're going to flip this one horizontally and we're going to use it on the other side of our mountain okay so I think we need to flip this one horizontally again so that we can have some variations so I think I'm going to put this one over here and just hide that edge on this uh, second mountain and just simply click on the move tool okay so now uh, we need to remove this part over here since we are using an opacity slider for this one then it's going to show the mountain that is behind it so let's select on this uh, mountain layer here then let's hold the control key and let's click on it and it's going to create a selection on the entire image and then let's go back to our second mountain let's create a layer mask by clicking this icon there you go and then press ctrl i to invert the layer mask and just drag this one to about 20 percent just to give it that uh, perspective that this mountain is farther away from this first mountain okay so now let's group these layers over here so let's select the bottom layer and the uppermost layer of the mountain image press ctrl g to group them and let's rename this one to mountains and then press ctrl j to duplicate this group and just click this eye icon to hide this original group so this copy over here is going to serve as our duplicate in, in case something goes wrong or we need to change something in the original group. So right click here and convert it to a smart object so we can apply the filter. So now let's head over to filter, let's go to blur and let's add a Gaussian blur. So over here I think 5 pixels will do and then just simply click OK. Okay, so now it's time to add the main focus of our photo manipulation which is going to be the fire and the man standing beside it. So let's click on the uppermost layer and we could just simply drag this uh, fire image over here to the canvas just like this. Okay, so let's click on the check mark over here and then let's change the blending mode from normal to screen. There you go. And then let's head over to adjustment layer. And let's create a levels adjustment layer. Let's create a clipping mask. And we're going to drag this slider here to the right side to remove those uh, white background. There you go. And to make it brighter, we just need to drag this one to the left side. There you go. Okay, so now we can click on the uh, image here. Press Ctrl T to resize and just make this one slightly smaller and I'm going to put it somewhere over here in this area and just click on the check mark okay so now it's time to drag our uh, subject which is going to be the man so let's just drop it to another canvas over here and now we're going to go over to select and choose subject for this one so now Photoshop is going to automatically create a selection around this subject over here just like this. And we can try fixing it by using a lasso tool. So just press L or select the lasso tool in the toolbar. And then uh, we can remove these areas here by just holding the Alt key and just create a selection just like this. There you go and it will remove to the existing selection and just do the same thing to the other one we can also add uh, to the existing selection by holding the shift key in the lasso tool so hold the shift key and it's going to show this plus sign over here and just simply create a selection just like this and then we can press ctrl j on this one right click and convert it to a smart object 
and click on the move tool and just simply drag this one to our canvas okay so i think this one will perfectly do just slightly below our fire image okay so let's just uh, rename this one to man and this one to fire so let's head over to our man layer and let's uh, decrease the brightness so let's add a UR saturation and then let's create a clipping mask and let's check on colorize over here to give it a bluish tone and let's drag this slider to about uh, I think negative 77 will do for this one and the saturation of 25 and I think I'm just going to slightly bring this one down so I think 237 will do for this one okay so now it's time to create some shadow so let's click on this layer over here and then let's create a new layer let's use a brush tool by pressing D or just select the brush tool in the toolbar we're going to use a soft round brush and a flow of 30% will do and of course a black foreground for this one and we're just going to slightly paint some shadow down below just to connect it to the ground okay so there you go and let's head over to our man layer so just hold the alt key and drag this layer below to create a duplicate and then press ctrl t and let's drag this uh point over here so let's hold the control key and just drag this uh, point over here and we're going to use this one as our shadow then just click on the move tool over here uh, okay and just adjust the position until it meets with the end of our man's uh, shoe okay so I think this one will do now let's head over to FX let's choose color overlay and we're going to use black for this one just hit ok then go to filter blur add a gaussian blur and 5 pixels will do for this one and there you go now we have our shadow okay so now it's time to add some highlights to our main subject so let's select our man layer let's head over to effects and let's add some inner shadow so over here we're going to choose a lighter orange for this one and just to go with the uh, color of our fire over here so I think this one will do so FB 963 C and then just press OK so the angle here is going to be 166 and just uncheck use global light over here so the distance of 2 and I'm gonna give it a choke of 0 and a size of 6 and then just simply press OK okay so the problem here is we don't need these parts over here so to erase those parts it's really easy so right click on this layer style then select create layer and it's going to create a separate layer and just remember whenever you have an extra adjustment layer just like this be sure to drag your uh, layer style above that adjustment layer so that it's gonna apply or the effect is gonna be seen on the canvas and then over here we could just simply create a layer mask and let's use a brush tool with a black foreground and just simply erase those parts that you don't need there you go just like this just increase the flow whenever you need it and just erase this uh, right side over here So basically this part here is a little bit darker so let's erase this one also for the left side for the right side of the uh, legs I think this one should be a little bit uh, darker there you go okay so I think this one will do okay so now it's time to add another set of uh, layer style but for this time we're going to choose white just to make those uh, areas a little bit brighter that are closer to the fire so let's select our man layer then let's uh, go to effects let's choose uh, inner shadow and then over here let's select on white there you go and then just uh, same settings here and then just simply click ok right click here and create layer and drag this one up top and now let's create a layer mask 
and let's use a brush tool with a black foreground just simply remove those parts that you don't need so I want this part here to be a little bit brighter compared to the upper part since it is closer to our fire image and just remove those parts that are behind our fire there you go and whenever you want to bring back some of those highlights just click this icon over here or just press X to change the foreground color to white and just simply paint back and those uh, highlights that you want to paint back okay so i think this one will do for now so now let's select on this layer over here let's use a smudge tool and let's smudge these uh, edges over here just to make these curls of the pants a little bit brighter And you can also do the same thing for the white highlights. So just use a smudge tool and then just smudge those edges that you want to make it bright. Okay, so after you are done uh, with all those things, let's group up our man layers. So let's select our uh, man layer over here and let's hold the shift key and select the uppermost layer. Press ctrl G to group them and let's rename this one to man. And then let's do the same thing for what we did to our mountains. So let's duplicate this one and then let's hide this man group over here. Right click and convert this one to a smart object. Okay, so now we, re we need to remove those uh, harsh uh, or sharp edges over here so we need to use a either a blur tool or a smudge tool for this one so right click and choose rasterize layer and let's try blur tool for this one and just blur those edges so by doing this uh, we can blend our subject more to the background okay so i think we are done here so let's convert this one back to a smart object and now let's add some highlights to the ground here for the uh, lights coming from our fire so let's select our ground layer over here so first let's just uh, erase some of these parts of the fire so let's select the fire layer let's create a layer mask and let's use a brush tool with a black foreground let's just remove some of these parts over here there you go let's go back to our ground layer let's add a your saturation let's create a clipping mask let's check on colorize and we need a brighter orange for the highlights down here so let's select this uh i think this one over here will do let's increase the saturation and we can't really see the effect so let's drag this adjustment layer to the upper part just like this let's also increase the lightness maybe just decrease the saturation a bit so i think uh 46 will do for this one then let's press ctrl i to invert the layer mask let's use a brush tool and let's use a white foreground okay so now uh let's click on this uh icon over here and let's drag these uh, two icons just to make our brush uh, or just to change the perspective of our brush okay so I think this one will do and change the flow to about 50% uh, and just simply paint back some of those highlights there you go just like this and just to make our uh, edge here a little bit brighter so let's head over to our levels over here so this is what makes it darker 
So let's erase some of those dark areas. So let's use a brush tool. This time we need to use a black foreground and just erase those parts that is closer to our fire. Let's just make this one a little bit thinner. There you go. Okay, so now the firewoods here are looking transparent. So let's head over to our fire layer. Uh, I mean, let's head over to the ground layer over here. Then let's create a new layer. Then we can simply drag this one over here just below our fire image. And then let's use a brush tool here with the black foreground. And let's just bring this one back to normal. And then let's just paint some black background for the fire over here. Just to make this woods over here a little bit darker. There you go. So I think we are almost done with our photo manipulation. So we just need to add some framing to this one. So that our focus is going to be on the subject which is the man over here and the fire image. So let's head over to our uppermost layer over here. And then let's select this uh, tree image. Let's just drag this over here. Okay, so now let's press, uh, let's right click on this one and flip this one horizontally. Let's just make this one bigger. There you go. I think this part here will do. So let's click over here. Okay, so now let's use a rectangular marquee tool and let's create a selection on this tree over here. Press Ctrl J, right click and convert it to a smart object and just delete the original image. And then over here, press Ctrl T and then let's use the warp icon and just remove this part over here by simply dragging this area. Okay, so I think that one will do and I don't need these roots over here. So just drag this one below. There you go. Okay, so to make it darker, let's head over to adjustment layer. Let's choose levels. Let's create a clipping mask and just drag this one to the left side to make it darker. Okay, so let's just remove this guide over here. Okay, so now to finish up our photo manipulation, it's time to add the camera row filter. So press Ctrl Alt Shift E to create a merge layer of all the layers. Right click and convert it to a smart object. Then go to filter and choose camera row filter. So I have already a settings prepared for this one. So I'm just gonna apply it and show you the settings that I did. So let's head over to this uh, more image settings. And I'm gonna load my settings over here. Select this one. And there you go. So the settings that I used here is I added some, oh, I decreased the shadows just to make our scene darker. And then for the whites, I really had to make this one a little bit brighter so that the image is going to have some more contrast. And for the blacks, I just make it uh, darker. Added a texture of 20 and a clarity of 10. And then for the color mixer, so for the blues, I added some uh, luminance to the blues to make it a little bit lighter. Then for sa the saturation, I did not want it to be a really a bluish theme. So just decrease the saturation will do. Negative 45 is okay. And, and I think that's all the settings that I did here. And as you can see, uh, since I added some whites, it bring up those uh, white uh, background from the fire image. So let's just uh, click on cancel over here. Let's delete this uh, merge layer. So let's head over to our fire image over here. So this is what makes it brighter go, going to the left side. So let's just make it darker by dragging it to the right side. So I think 0 0.05 and 187 will do for this one okay so i think we also forgot to add some blur to our tree so let's select our tree image over here then let's go to filter uh let's choose blur gaussian blur i think uh 10 pixels will do for this one and just click okay and i think we just need to make our uh fire over here slightly bigger since it's our main focus and 
so to uh, to make it bigger and also those uh, highlights so let's select our fire image over here and also the uh, background for our uh, woods uh, hold the control key and just select this one and also for the highlights so hold the control key again select this highlight over here and also for the levels there you go and just simply press ctrl T and make this one bigger okay so I think this one will do and if you really want this uh, if fire effect over here to make it brighter you can just simply go to the uh, adjustment layer of your fire image and just drag this slider here to the left side to make it brighter okay so I think that one will do and for the saturation of the highlight over here or uh, this one so we can use a blend if just to decrease those overall highlights and just to give it a more contrasty result so let's just double click on the right side of this adjust adjustment layer and then on the underlying layer let's hold the alt key and just separate these two sliders over here just like this just to give it some more contrast okay so I think 15 will do and then just simply press ok okay so I think we are done with the adjustments over here and it's really normal if you go back to all your layers since photo manipulation is really about taking your time uh, making some adjustments will make your uh, photo manipulation a whole lot better and so let's add the camera row filter back again so just press ctrl alt shift e right click here convert to smart object let's head over to filter camera row filter so since you've already did your settings a while ago you can just simply click on this icon here and select apply preview settings so as i have noticed i think our scene here is uh, a bit brighter so we just need to decrease the whites here so i think dragging this one to about 70 will make the scene a little bit more contrast and realistic so i think 70 will do for this one and just play around with the settings here until you uh, get your desired result and then just simply press ok okay so we are finally done with our photoshop photo manipulation tutorial for today so if you have learned something from this tutorial just don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel and click that bell icon to get notified whenever i upload a new content Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video.